Is the cure for balding finally here? Well, today I'm going to talk about the new molecule, PP405, that has gotten so many people so excited, including myself. And I've seen countless videos on PP405, and I just wanted to hold off a little bit so I could give you guys a real deep dive into this molecule, what it does, and what you can expect. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to give you my predictions on what is next in hair loss. Well, why are we so excited about this medication? Well, for the first time in decades, we have something that works on a different mechanism to both minoxidil and finasteride, and that means no change in your body's hormonal status. So how does this molecule work? Well, in the cell, we have something called the mitochondria, and this drug works on something called bioenergetics. Now remember, the mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. Within the mitochondria, you have something called the mitochondrial pyruvate carrier, or MPC. Now, what this medication does is inhibit the mitochondrial pyruvate carrier. This works on a complicated metabolic process, and if you want me to go into more detail about this, I'm happy to do so, but it's going to be boring. So simply put, what does this medication do? Well, if you think of something like finasteride or dutasteride, it solves the problem upstream. We know that dihydrotestosterone interacts with genetically prone follicles and causes miniaturization. In the past, we thought, oh, very smart. Let us reduce dihydrotestosterone in the body. Thereby, it won't interact with that hair follicle and then it won't cause miniaturization. Because what this drug is saying is, I don't care if there's high levels of DHT in the body. DHT can go and attach to the hair follicle and start this miniaturization process. What this medication will do is go right there where DHT has attached to the hair follicle and say, no, no, no. I'm going to reboot it, get those stem cells working again, and get the hair growing. So now what we can do, we don't have to block hormones in the entire body to make sure that the hormones don't interact with the hair follicle. We can just go right to the source, upregulate stem cell activity, and grow more hair. Now that's extremely simplified, and for all you nerds out there, just comment below if you want me to make a video in great detail about the entire metabolic process that happens with this medication. So this drug is being developed by Pelage Pharmaceuticals. It's studied in UCLA, and recently Google Ventures has invested in it that has gotten so many people excited. It's been in development for about 10 years now, and they're actually quite far along in the trial process. They're at stage 2A, so now they are testing safety of this medication and so far it seems that there's no systemic absorption of the medication remember guys this medication is going to be applied topically so it's not an oral medication it will be a topical medication and there seems to be no side effects as of yet and so far the results have shown that about 30 percent of men have experienced about a 20 percent increase in hair density in only eight weeks, which is a lot faster than conventional treatments like minoxidil and finasteride. Now, it's important to note that the upregulation of these hair follicle stem cells shifts the cells from telogen phase, which is the resting phase, into anagen phase, which is the growing phase. Because typically these phases are characteristic of hairs that are still alive. So that means that if you're shiny bald and all those hairs are dead, chances of this medication growing that hair back is probably very slim. So from this, we can already deduce that it's not going to be a magic cure for people who are bald. So what is it going to do? Well, we hope that it's going to be a powerful tool in our arsenal against hair loss. Right now, all us hair restoration doctors have is minoxidil and finasteride. Yes, there's a few regenerative therapies out there like stem cell injections, like PRP, like exosomes, but nothing really works like minoxidil and finasteride. So we really hope that this will be a third treatment to help people keep their hair for longer. And likely we're going to use it in combination with these medications. Also remember guys that even great medications don't really work for everyone. When Propecia came out, or finasteride, it was hailed as a cure for balding. And for some people, even my own patients, it really is a miracle drug. They take finasteride and Propecia for 
four to six months and they regrow a crap load of hair. And it really seems like a miracle. But most people don't hyper respond that way. Most people fall somewhere in the middle where it does prevent a little bit of hair loss and it can grow a little bit of hair. And for some people, about 10%, it doesn't work at all. So most likely this medication will be the same. Some people will experience an incredible result. Most people will get some good benefit and some people won't get any benefit at all. That's how most medications work. So my hopeful prediction for PP405 is just this, that it will be a miracle for some, but for most of us, it will just give us some extra hair and hopefully no side effects. So I'm sure you guys are wondering when is this medication going to be out? It seems that the earliest dates will be around 2028. So guys, don't stop taking your minoxidil or finasteride because we're not really sure when it will be out. And if you guys want to know how to optimize your hair loss regimen, please book a consultation with us. We would love to help you. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a scam? Will this actually work? And what do you think of this medication? Would you be one of the first people to try it? See you guys next time.